Hello everyone, this is Sanjay Parashar. Welcome back to the channel. And today is the sixth session of Oracle Service Bus 12C series. And today we will be talking about a very important concept that is called virtualization. So what exactly virtualization means in terms of OSP? So when when we have a web service and we do not want to expose the entire URL of the web service, rather we expose a virtualized URL or a customized URL to the outer world. That process can be achieved using proxy service and business service in OSB and that's what we will be demonstrating in today's video. So to demonstrate virtualization using OSB, we will be using a SOA service that we, that we created in our previous tutorial that you can find under the uh, SOA playlist in our channel. The service basically takes an input of first name and last name and returns the complete name by concatenating first name and last name. And as this is the actual URL and we want the desired URL to look like this. So rather than exposing this accessibility demo URL, we want to expose to outer world this customized URL which says integration glue virtual URL complete name. So let's do this. We will be using JDeveloper. In JDeveloper, I have already created a service bus project that is called service virtualization demo. And this is the visitor of that SOA service that we created in our previous tutorial and this is a schema accessibility demo which we created in our previous tutorial so if you have not seen that one I recommend you guys to check that out as well so to achieve the virtualization in OSB we will need to create a business service using this particular visitor so let's do this really quick Once we have this business service ready, we will create a proxy service. We'll make it synchronous. And for XSD, we can use the same XSD that is being used by our business service. So as you can see this virtualization proxy service dot visual has been created. Click on next. And this is the endpoint that you can customize as per your desire. And we agreed that we will give this URL. So let's try and give this one only. So this could be anything, but we want it to be integration guru virtual URL complete name. Let's finish this. Let's make the connection. So here if I open this uh, pipeline, you will see already a routing has been created automatically with request and response action. So if we do not touch this, what it will do is it will just take whatever user passes and it will pass it to uh, the business service and the, take the response from business service and pass it along to the user who requested for it. And let's deploy it. So 
so as we can see the deployment is completed so now this is a soap ui and let's create a soap project here and first let's test the soa service that we have used as a business service so this is the url for that test anything our server should be up and running i think we should be knowing that by now so let me give it sanjay parashar and you see that the complete name came as sanjay parashar so now we will create another project and this time we will give the endpoint url of our osb service that we recently created which is virtualizing the endpoint that is mentioned above here so let's let's test this osb service now and here we go so the complete name is coming and we can also test this in sb console to check if the service that we just created this service virtualization demo is there and we can also test from sb console as well so let's do that so as we can see that service virtualization demo is here and under the proxy as you can see this is the uh, virtualization proxy service pipeline and this is the proxy service and under the transport tab you can see that the endpoint uri is here so the endpoint uri of your service is your host column port slash this endpoint uri like we did when we tested with uh, soap ui so we can test it from here as well by clicking on this Here we can give first name or last name like this. Click on execute, and as we can see, that complete name is coming. So, this is it, guys. This was a very important concept of OSP that I think everyone should be aware of. Even if you are a SOA developer, you should be knowing how you can virtualize SOA endpoint using OSP. And Thank you so much for watching and take good care of yourself. Stay safe and stay home. Bye-bye.